What's going on guys? So today I'm in my mate Toby's backyard. Hey guys. So let's see what we can find. Let's go. Let's go. Dad, yeah, dad, get, get, yeah, yeah, look. The other bug towards it. It's doing something. It's like kind of. Orange, orange, like creepy thing. I like that though. Yeah, it's weird. I like it. I like it. Oh, look at the sap. It might, I think it was feeding on the sap there. Oh, that maybe. sap. Right, I'm just gonna. You okay, Benj? Oh, he's been in the water. Let's do some water. Over here. Got him. I'm gonna check if he's at me something. Hmm, nope. Alright, Travis, come help me. Yeah, what do you need? So, like, if you just um, hold the bottom here for me. Yeah, and then oh, no, wait, flip that whole thing over, like tip that cup so he falls into there, yeah. And then, um, oh yeah, and then I'll chuck yeah. it in there and then I'll pull it on. Yeah. Oh, the hell? You got him? Nice. 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 There he is. Man. What's my dog? And he's got a little baby. Ready? Wait, hang on, hang on. If you like scoop it off. I want to get that. Cut. I want to get that one little bit there. There we go. He's got his home and everything. Yeah. I think it's so angry. Oh, that's a queen. That's the queen. Where? Right there. I just saw her. She poked her head out. Did she? Yeah, she did. It might have been a major, but it looked a lot like a queen. What species mm. are these? This is a Campanotus annuliopsis. Yeah, the ants with the yellow. Dude, that's I'm, I'm gonna put a rock back on it because I want them. Ah, hit me. No, there's not much I can do to be honest. There's too many of them. No. Oh, see you guys. Later, ball. Bruh. Dude. Even this rock literally feels like a burning thing. Oh, nothing under there. Oh, wow. What's that? That's something like... Um, oh, that's a Right, how can you identify it so I can millimetre long? Because they have their abdomens in the shape of a heart. That's how you know. Primitogaster, they're pretty cool. Yeah, it's just a small little colony. Criminal Gaster. Oh, spider, spider, spider. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, she's massive. Oh, she's got, oh, she's got one of those things on her back. She's got her larvae on her back. That, that will eat 
eat it alive keep it, keep as it. it. You can document it. Dude, look, there's a little thing. Yeah. I've, I've read about that. They, I've they, seen they, a they, wolf spider they, that had they. the exact same looking thing on it. Like so that's going to eat. Like, don't they like eat them alive or something? Yeah, that's how it gets its nutrients. It's like, so a, that, it's like a weird wasp. Did I kill yeah, it? Yeah, it's a I'm not. Oh, that's crazy. It's got a wasp. Oh my god. That is actually insane. It's got a wasp larvae on its back. Dad, I didn't even see. So see where that little maggot looking thing is between the um, the head and the abdomen, like just below the cephalothorax, the, there's like a maggot looking thing there and that's a wasp larvae. So that, as it gets bigger, it'll eat the wolf spider alive. That's how it gets its nutrients into becoming a, a little baby wasp. It's so cool. Yeah, you should keep it and then wait till it like gets gets, gets, gets bigger. Expensive. That is crazy. So it so it has like a kind of adjustability. That's it would mermex big now. I'm sorry, what? Whoa, look at the baby! Wait, what is it? Wait, oh, look at see, the eggs. see what look at the eggs here? They've got like a little silk and a patch. See that? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 All this mm -hmm. That's just beautiful. Come oh, on. I'm gonna keep away. Keep filming in case you catch him. Oh! Yeah, that's that's a jumping jack. Alright, come here. I've known Toby for a few years now. And he's one of my best mates. We're both really passionate about the same stuff, you know, like animals and wildlife. He's also got a wicked cool drone that he flies over the property, which is heaps of fun. But I really was interested to find out more about Toby's collection of ants. So this guy is pretty fat. So that one ant, is that her worker ant? Yeah, that's her But this species is really cool because they have minors and majors, so that's... Kind so of like, kind of like a varied colony. So when are you gonna open that cotton to like a another little roaming area like you do for the other ones? Yeah, probably pretty soon because she's already got two little um, cocoons, which is what the ants hatch out of. So how many ants can come out of a cocoon? Just one, like one at a time. Yeah. Okay, so this species is called Campanotus uh, consobrinus, I believe, and they're oh, yeah. they're a really cool species because like they're really calm and mm. docile. Pretty chilled species. Yeah. But what was the species again? Campanotus. Campanotus. I've heard that. So is that quite common here in Australia? That, well, that sort yes, of species. Yes, it's of actually ant? the most common species of ant in the entire world. So if you really? look at all the genuses of ant, you'll see that Campanotus is the most common in the entire world. So yeah, they're really common species. That's awesome, dude. So how come this colony is in this little test tube here? Well, she's in this little test tube because she's still in her founding stage. So this is this little gap here between the cotton is all she needs. And this little water supply we see here, the cotton bowl here absorbs it. And it gives her hydration, it gives her moisture for the eggs. It's pretty much everything she needs. But the thing about ant keeping is that there's so many different types of housing that you can have for the ants. Like you can have massive formicariums made out of different materials. You can have a terrarium filled with dirt that they can build their own nest with. It's just so, so varied that you pretty much have to make the decision when it comes to that, you know, time. Yeah, awesome. How did you get into taking care of ants and ant colonies? I was just on YouTube one day and I was going through some videos and I saw this video and it was from this guy called Ants Canada. He's got one million subscribers, he's a really big YouTuber. And I realised, like, this is actually really cool. And also just the community really helped me want to get into mm. ants because there's such there's a lot of Facebook groups out there and there's people you can talk to about it. Like people don't even realise how big this community is. Like there's even a black market around the ant trade. Like it's crazy. Yeah. Well thanks so much for watching guys and thank you so much Toby for letting us, you know, into your backyard and yeah. catching some awesome spiders and stuff. Yeah, thanks for coming. That was awesome. Yeah, we definitely gotta do it again, maybe De even at night. Definitely. That'd be sick. Right, see you, man. Well, um, thank. Oh, thank. Yep. Uh, no, no, wait, stop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Some days I am just on fire. Why can't I say? 